Welcome to the School of Drinks. I'm Johnny Michaels from Lab LV and Proof Drink Design. And today, since it's October, we're going to be talking about apples. And more specifically, apple cider and how to use that in some cocktails. Uh, when people think about mixing apple cider into a drink, they normally think of liquors like Jameson or bourbon, a light whiskey, and those work really well. But so does some products like this. This is Calvados which is a European apple brandy. A domestic version here is Applejack for about 12 bucks a bottle. It's a super good value. Apple schnapps, sometimes when you combine like apple brandy and apple schnapps, it really brings a synergistic apple flavor out. This product here, Canton Ginger Liqueur, is really nice with apple. And I've got some Allspice Dram. If you want a super simple wintry cocktail, just mix some apple cider and Allspice Dram, heat it up, and you'll have a really nice drink. What I like to do is I'll use a clear apple vodka, mix it with apple schnapps, fresh apple cider, and then what I'll do is just drizzle in a little pomegranate juice, and you'll end up with a two-tone apple teeny. And then a good way to put an apple on the rim without breaking it is you pinch it so it can only go so far. So when you stick it on there, it just has like an automatic stop. But today's drink we're gonna make is football inspired, because I love football. And this drink is called the Little Brown Jug. Every year the Golden Gophers play the Michigan Wolverines and whoever wins gets to keep this little brown jug. Must be full of whiskey the way they fight for it. We start off with just a glass of ice. I'm going to use bourbon. And then just a touch of apple schnapps to sweeten it up a touch. And then just some fresh pressed local apple cider. Garnish it and you can do your touchdown dance. I'm Johnny Michaels, School of Drinks. Happy October. Bite the apple.